Hi, my name is Brian Stevens Hotop. I'm the city engineer for the city of Muncie. Today, I wanted to go over a new tool that the city of Muncie and working with Delaware County has rolled out. It's a portal for reporting street problems within the city. Um, and it's a computer-based tool that can be used from a desktop as well as a mobile device. So the first thing you'll see on the, the Muncie Street Problem Reporting Hub is um, the actual button to get to the form to submit a street problem. Once you click that button, you'll be redirected to a new tab that shows you uh, the form with our information that we need to collect in order to try and address the problem. So the first item is gonna be the type of problem that you're trying to report. So you'll see that even though the potholes have gotten a lot of attention, there's a lot of different types of problems that you can report. These are all things that we try to address within the street department or in some cases, um, we try to let other departments or other utilities know of the problem so that we can help um, try and address all those issues throughout the city. The details section, any type of information that can help us understand the location, um, you know, whether it's a specific corner or an intersection, that's appreciated. It helps make sure that our crews are able to find the problem more easily and address the problem timely. So we'll go ahead and put something in here. Then under name, this is something where we'd like to collect the name of people doing the reporting so that we can try and follow up with you and make sure that if we have questions, we know who to ask to or who we need to reach out to. The phone number, again, that's something that is easier for us to try and follow up if we have a crew out there and they're not seeing the problem or we're trying to get a better understanding of what's going on or if there's a lot of people that are reporting a similar problem so that we can try to um, just, I think, provide better follow-up with the community. Then email, that's one of our preferred ways of providing um, status updates for a project. So if it's in progress or once it's been completed, we'll try and let people that submitted a problem know that that project has been identified and completed. The severity of a problem is really where we're trying to um, help us understand the priority. So in some cases, it's a pothole, it's something that gets on our list, we try and get to it timely. But if there's something that you feel is a true road hazard or something that's going to impact public safety, we'd ask that you try and identify the severity of that. So oftentimes a pothole might be something that's minor. If it's something where there's um, a real risk to human health, we'd ask you to put severe. Under status, if you are filling out the form, we'd like you to hit submitted. Um, there's other statuses within that dropdown that we use internally to let us know where we are in the process of addressing those problems. Adding a photo from a desktop, if you have a, a photo that you've saved, you know something that you've downloaded to your desktop, that's where you'd want to select that file. If it's um, from a mobile device, it's something that you could go ahead and take a picture and load that picture from your location so that we have a, a record of what we're trying to identify or what we're looking for when we send a crew out. For the location, if you have a mobile device, you can hit the Locate Me button, which will identify your location based on the phone's um, GPS coordinates. If you're at a, a specific address, whether that's a residence or a business, that's something that we can use to help identify where a problem is. Or if you just want to use the location from a map, you can zoom in to the map, identify the intersection. Um, if you can try to be specific as far as where you think um, where you think that problem is occurring, if it's on the northwest corner or if it's uh, in between two blocks, you know, go ahead and actually put it where you think that problem is identified and a marker will show up, which then will, and that marker can be moved or dragged as you need to. Um, so once you feel good about the location of the problem, you can scroll further down under complete form, hit submit entry. Once you hit complete the form, we will receive the report of that problem. 
At that point, we'll start putting a ticket together for our crews to address those problems, and then we will also be able to follow up with you once we've completed the problem. Other items that can be viewed on the, the Street Problem Reporting Hub is uh, a map that shows all the locations of reported problems. So if you view the map, um, there's an interactive map that shows all the different locations. It shows whether it's in progress. It um, identifies the severity of a problem. If you've noticed something that is something you would want to report, you could potentially see if it's already been reported and we're working on it. Another item that's available is the pothole and report analysis map. When you open that map, you can see problems that we've already uh, repaired or problems that have um, been addressed. And this is specifically looking at problems fixed within the last seven days. So you can see that our crews are out there trying to work through the, the backlog of problems that have been reported to the city. Finally, at the bottom of the hub, there's a little more information about learning about potholes, the causes, um, some safety advice that we, we suggest for our crews when we're out there trying to give them some space, um, going slow when crews are out working. And um, also just a reminder to help give us some time to address these problems as there are a lot that get reported to us and uh, it takes some time for all of our crews to be out there and repair those. That completes my overview of the street problem reporting hub. And if you have any further questions, I hope you reach out to the street department and myself.